大家好，我是 Eddie， 欢迎来到你好汉语。What's up, my Eddie gang? Welcome to another episode of 你好 Chinese, which is a fun Mandarin learning channel hosted by the Eddielicious Eddie G. And Eddie G is Eddielicious. Eddie G wants to eat himself. In today's episode, we are gonna indeed talk about something relevant to food. Because upon the request from a member of my Eddie Gan, I was asked to do an episode about how to order food in restaurants. So today I'm gonna teach you top expressions you can use in a restaurant, and by restaurant I mean just a regular restaurant in general. Let's get started. 我们开始吧 First of all, you should know how to say restaurant in Chinese. I will offer three different ways. Number one is 餐馆，餐馆，餐馆，餐 literally means meal. 馆 is a place to eat, and it means restaurant. So meal restaurant, 餐馆 Or you can say 餐厅，餐厅，厅 is like a hall. So a meal hall. A hall you can eat food. So 餐厅 And finally, which is the one I hate most, is called 饭馆饭馆饭馆 Because I feel like 饭馆 is used more often in north of China, and energy is from south of China. I would say 餐馆 but not 饭馆饭 literally means rice, or it could be meal. 馆 again is a place to eat food. 饭馆 and then there is a big book you can choose food from, and that's called menu. In Chinese, we say 菜单菜单菜单菜单菜 is dish. 单 is list. Dish list 菜单 that's menu. Next up, 服务员服务员，服务员，服务 is to serve or service. It depends. It could be a verb, could be a noun. 员 that's like a staff or employee. So service employee that's a waiter or waitress. 服务员 You know something interesting in Chinese restaurant is that. Because we have such a big population, and then you're gonna see a lot, a lot of people in restaurant at the same time, and you are not gonna act like a posh or elegant lady and just simply, you know, raise up your hand. That's not enough because the waiter is not gonna see you. Your hand is damn small, and they can't see you. So you just gotta shout out, 服务员 and something like that. And then they will come to you. And don't worry, it's not going to be rude because that's how we do in Chinese restaurant. It's not something we prefer to do. However, that's reality. Reality is reality. We are not in Western countries with less population, so we can act like a gentleman and a lady. No, we can't. And you just shout out 服务员 and then they will notice you. But I mean, there are still cases that you are eating in a fine dining restaurant with less people, and then you can just simply raise up your hand, and you know the waiter will see you. But in a regular or a fast food restaurant, no, just shout out that word, 筷子，筷子，筷子 That's chopsticks. 勺子，勺子，勺子 Tada. Spoon, 叉子，叉子，叉子 ，a fork, 碗，碗，碗 ，that's a bowl, 盘子，盘子，盘子，盘子 is a plate or a dish, but it's like the real plate, okay, not like a delicious dish. Just like that thing, you can put your, you know, your vegetable and your meat in. That's a panzi. Now let's study some useful expressions that you can talk with a waiter in a restaurant. 
Actually, when you step in a restaurant, a waiter will ask you a question: How many people? And he or she will say, 您好，几位？您好，几位？您好，几位？ That means hello, and 您好 is a polite way to say 你好 to say hello.、Um, so when you are in the service industry, you need to say 您好 to your customer, to your guests. 几 is how many. 位 is a formal quantifier to describe people. Do you remember in the previous episode, I always say you can use 个个 To describe person or people, right? But wait, it's just like more formal. And to answer that waiter's question, you can simply say the number to them. For example, 两位两位两位两 is a cardinal number in Chinese language. I have talked about the difference between cardinal and ordinal numbers. If you haven't checked that episode, go back and check it. Or if there are three of you, you can say, 三位三位三位 and then the waiter will lead you to a table depending on how many people you are. And if you're not happy with the space of your table, you think even though we have two people eating, right? But I want a bigger table because I feel more comfortable. I have more space to move around. Then you can tell the waiter, "Do you have like a bigger table?" And in Chinese, you can say, 有更大的桌子吗？有更大的桌子吗？有更大的桌子吗 ？Is there a bigger table? 有 that means have or has. But here I think it's proper to translate to there is, there are, like there be in English. 更大 that is bigger. 更 means more. 大 means big. 更大 bigger. Here you can treat 更大的 as a whole phrase, and that works as an Adjective means bigger. 桌子 that's a table or a desk. 有更大的桌子吗？吗 is a yes and no question signal word. 有更大的桌子吗？ What if before you go to the restaurant, you have already made a reservation, let's say at 6 p.m. and then when you enter the restaurant, you need to tell the waiter you have a reservation at 6. In Chinese, you can say. 你好，我预定了今天六点的座位。你好，我预定了今天六点的座位。你好，我预定了今天六点的座位。That means hello. I have reserved a table at 6 p.m. today. 预定 is to book or to reserve. That's a verb here, but 预定 also could be a noun in different contexts. 了 is a past tense or perfect present tense signal word. So here, just treat 预定了 together as reserved, and that's in the past. 今天 that's today. 六点 that's six o'clock. 六点的 just treat it as an adjective. 座位 that's a seat. 六点的座位 a seat at six o'clock. And now you and your friend are sitting pretty and comfortably, and you are gonna order food. And you might want to ask questions or suggestions, like recommendation from a waiter, right? And then some useful sentences be like. Uh, do you have anything not spicy? Like Eddie G doesn't like to eat spicy food, so I will say, 有什么不辣的菜吗？有什么不辣的菜吗？有什么不辣的菜吗 ？Is there any dish not spicy? 有 that there is or there are or have has. 什么 That's actually a question word like what in English, right? But here, 什么 works as any this word like in English. 不辣的 That's 
non-spicy or not spicy, and together these three characters、uh, works as an adjective. La, that is very spicy. Bu la, not spicy. Bu la de de is an adjective signal word. If you say bu la de, that's not spicy, non-spicy. Cai, that's a dish. And ma is a yes and no question signal word. Actually, if you analyze the sentence and we pick out the core part of the sentence, you will notice the key word is any dish. Any dish in Chinese would be 什么菜 and 不辣的 here is just an adjective. Okay, 什么菜 that's like any dish. Any dishes, and that's why just now I told you 什么 is a question word in Chinese, right? But here it doesn't mean what. Here it means any. Let me just give you the sentence structure, all right? If you say 什么 plus an adjective or plus a noun, it means any blah blah blah. For example, if you want to say any good ideas, you can say 有什么好主意吗？有什么好主意吗？什么好主意 ？It's like any good idea. 有什么好主意吗 ？Do you have any good ideas? And here I also need to emphasize I didn't say 你 which means you in the sentence because it is very obvious I am asking you but not him or her. So I just delete you 你 this word. Make sense? And just a little more explanation about the sentence. 有什么不辣的菜吗 Actually, you can delete the word 菜 which means dish in the sentence. Just make it more colloquial in spoken Chinese. You can say 有什么不辣的吗有什么不辣的吗 And that works. 有什么推荐的吗有什么推荐的吗？有什么推荐的吗 ？Any recommendations? Do you remember the sentence structure I told you? Any plus adjective or noun that means do you have any blah blah blah? 有 means is there or are there? 什么 here means any and it originally is a question word means what but here is not what is any because following any you said recommendation. In Chinese, it would be 推荐推荐推荐 is recommend or recommendation. 推荐 could be a noun and a verb. 推荐的 here, if you plus 的 that's like an adjective signal word. So 推荐的 here works as an adjective, and you put this adjective before the noun, which is 菜 It's dish, right? 菜，推荐的菜。Again, here if you wanna, you know, just be lazy, you don't wanna say 菜 Of course, you can delete 菜 this word, and the whole sentence will be like, 有什么推荐的吗？有什么推荐的吗 ？Like any recommendations? 我对海鲜过敏。我对海鲜过敏。我对海鲜过敏。I'm allergic to seafood. 对，嗯嗯，过敏 is a fixed sentence structure that means be allergic to. 过敏 is allergy or allergic. 海鲜 that's seafood. 我对海鲜过敏。I'm allergic to seafood. If you and your friend have a big belly, you're probably gonna add more dishes, right? And then you can say. 服务员，可以再给我看下菜单吗？服务员，可以再给我看下菜单吗？服务员，可以再给我看下菜单吗 ？Waiter, can I have another look of the menu? 服务员 ，That's a waiter. 可以 that means can or be able to. 再 means again. 给 that means give. 给我 that means give me. 再给我 
Give me again. 看一下，看一下 means to take a look. Actually, it's like a grammar thing. If you say 看 plus 下 together, that means take a look. Like take a short look. You are not gonna stare or need that thing for ever. You just need to look at it for like one minute or five minutes or so. Just like if you wanna say. Have a taste, right? Like have a real quick bite. You can say 尝下，尝下，尝下 That means have a taste, have a bite. 菜单 means menu. 吗 That's yes and no question signal word. 服务员，可以再给我看下菜单吗 ？Oh, just now I forgot to tell you. 看下 You can also replace it、uh, with 看。看一下 That's also take a look. Actually, it will be easier to, for you to understand because I add the number e. Right, that means to take a look. But you know, in spoken Chinese, we just want to be lazy.、Um, we just say 看一下 We just delete e this word. So if you want to say have a taste, you can say 尝一下你好，我们可以点餐了。你好。我们可以点餐了。你好，我们可以点餐了。Hi, we are ready to order. 你好 ，That's hello. 我们 ，That means we or us. 可以 ，That means can or have the ability to do something. 点餐 ，That's order food. 点 ，That's to order. 餐 ，Is meal. Order meal. That's 点餐了 That's like a past tense signal word, right? But here, 可以嗯嗯了 Now I can do what what. Now I'm ready to do what what. Or if you want to be lazy, you can say 服务员点菜服务员点菜服务员点菜点菜 Same with 点餐，菜 is dish. So in Chinese, we literally say order dish is also fine. 点菜，有大份米饭吗？有大份米饭吗？有大份米饭吗 ？Is there a big portion of rice? Sometimes you and a few friends go to eat in a restaurant together, and it's just like、um, a better deal if you can order a really, really big portion of rice. Especially, it happens a lot in Chinese restaurants. I don't know if in the Western context it's the same, but anyway, in Chinese restaurant, if there are let's say five or six people of you, you don't want to just order one portion, one portion for each. Each person, because you're just gonna spend more money. So here, you just can order like a really big, big bowl of rice, and then you can share the rice together. And I, sh- I guarantee you, the price is lower in this way. So you can say, is there a big portion of rice? 有大份米饭吗？有大份米饭吗？有大份。饭吗？有 ，That's there is or there are. 大份 ，big portion. 大 is adjective, big. 份 ，That's a quantifier for rice and some kind of food. 大份 ，big portion. 米饭 ，That's rice. 吗 ，Yes and no question signal word. 有大份米饭吗？ Or if the situation is just you and your friend, two of you want to eat rice, then I think it's better for you to just order two small portion of rice, and then you can tell the waiter. You say, 来两份米饭，来两份米饭，来两份米饭。So you don't actually need to emphasize small portion. This The concept you just say 两份米饭 literally means two portions of rice, and the 
waiter will get it because he or she only sees the two of you so she or he immediately knows that you just need like two small portions and sometimes you and your friend are taking a look at the menu and you see the picture sometimes you see like a really huge plate but after all it's just a picture you don't know how much or what is the portion like of that dish and then you can ask a question to that waiter to say oh is this like a really big portion of dish and you are worried that you and your friend only two of you cannot finish a very big portion of dish and then you can check with the waiter you can say oh is this dish really big or like does this dish have a really big portion and then you can ask literally means this portion is big 这个 is this 量 that means quantity or portion 大 that means big 吗 yes and no question signal word 这个量大吗 the quantity is big something like that you're asking and checking 有套餐吗 有 套餐吗? 有套餐吗? Sometimes it's hard for you and your friends to decide which dish you want to order and you really want to have a good meal deal and then you can ask 有套餐吗? Because 套餐 is like a meal deal or a combo like it's a set menu you don't have to choose because the things are all included together and you pay that price and it's easy for you because you don't have to choose 这份甜品两人够吃吗? 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 For this dessert, is it enough for two people? 这份 means this portion of 甜品 that's dessert 甜 literally means sweet 两人 that's two people and 两 here is the cardinal number 够 that's enough 吃 means to eat 吗 yes and no question signal word 够吃 that means enough to eat 这份汤两个人喝够吗? 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 This portion of soup is it enough for two people? 这份 this portion of 汤 soup 两个人 two people or you can say 两人 喝, that means to drink 够吗? means enough 够 means enough 吗? yes or no question signal word 够喝吗? together means enough to drink 够吗? means is it enough? sometimes in a very obvious situation or a context you just need to say 够吗? 够吗? these two words and that's a sentence actually that means is it enough? 服务员,你好,再给我一双筷子 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 Hello waiter, give me another pair of chopsticks 服务员, that's waiter 你好, hello 在 means again 给我, give me 一双, that's a pair of 双 actually means double or pair because chopsticks are plural so you say 一双 is like a pair just like you can say 一双鞋, 一双鞋 that means a pair of shoes 双 is a quantifier for pairs 有纸巾吗? 有 
纸巾吗？有纸巾吗？纸巾 means tissue. 有 that's like there be or have has. 吗 yes and no question signal word. Is there any tissue? 有纸巾吗 You know, according to my experience, a lot of regular restaurants charge for extra money of tissue, like a box or a packet of tissue. And if you don't want to waste your extra money on that, you can bring your own tissue. Just a friendly tip for you to know. Well, if you don't care to spend like one RMB or two RMB to buy the tissue, and then the waiter will tell you the price, and they will say, 两块钱一包，两块钱一包，两块钱一包。That means for one packet, two RMB. 两块 that's two RMB. 块 is like the quantifier for Chinese money. 钱 that's money. 两块钱 just means two RMB. Sometimes, if you want to be lazy, you can say 两块 You can delete 钱 this word. It's not really necessary. Okay. Some people like to say it. Some people don't. 两块钱一包包 means bag or packet. 服务员买单服务员买单服务员买单 Waiter, check please. 买单 means check or bill. You don't even need to say please literally in Chinese because you know please is qing. In English, you say bill or check please. In Chinese, no, don't say qing. Just say bill or check. That means 买单，服务员买单。可以刷卡吗？可以刷。卡吗？可以刷卡吗 ？Can I use credit card? 可以 That's can. 刷卡 That means use the credit card because it's a phrasal verb.、Um, but literally, 刷 means to swipe, and 卡 literally means card. Swipe card. That's the literal translation. But you don't have to understand like that. Just understand it as use credit card. 吗 is a yes and no question signal word. 可以刷卡吗 Can I use credit card? You don't even need to say 我 because 我 means I, right? You don't need to say I can pay by credit card. You just say can can pay by credit card、um, because it's very obvious that you are talking about yourself. You're not talking about others. In Chinese. The situation happens a lot. We delete the subject. 您需要到前台去买单。您需要到前台去买单。您需要到前台去买单。You have to go to the front desk to pay for the bill. 您 that's a respectful form for you. This word. You is 你，您 is like a respect way. 您 is a more polite way to say you. 需要 that's need to do. 到，嗯嗯，去 is a fixed grammar phrase. Means go to somewhere. 到，嗯嗯，去 and 去 is to go away to another direction. 到，嗯嗯，去 Go to, 到前台去。前台 is、um, front desk. 到前台去。Go to the front desk. 买单 that means pay the bill. 您需要到前台去买单。Sometimes restaurants require the customers to pay only at the front desk. Maybe it's because they're too busy and they just require us to come to the front desk. 服务员可以帮我们照张相吗？服务员可以帮我们照张相吗？服务员可以帮我们照张相吗 ？Here, if you look carefully, you will notice that I just delete the subject. 你 
because actually you should say if you tell the waiter you should say 你可以帮我们照张相吗? because I'm asking you but again like I said in Chinese we delete the subject a lot because it's obvious I'm asking you not another waiter to take a photo for us I just I just start with the verb 可以 which means can 帮 that means to help 我们 means us 照相 take photos 照张相 if you say 张 you insert 张 this word between 照 and 相 that means to take a photo and you might be curious hey you didn't say 玩 because you didn't say 一 right because 一 that means 1 but here in Chinese if you say a quantifier like 张 here okay 张 is a quantifier for maybe a piece of paper for paper for a photo something made by paper you say 张 yeah but you don't necessarily need to say 一张 if you say 一张 it's perfect but you can delete 一 this word because you are obviously talking about one at that time you just say 张 照张相 that means to take a photo but don't get me wrong uh, when you are asking people to take photos for you you don't really mean um, to let them take only one photo but you just say that anyway if I am on a if I'm on a tour I would ask strangers to take photos for me I also say oh please can you take a photo for me but actually if he sucks at the photography skill and then I would require that person to take two or three more for me until I'm happy right so don't worry here you just say 照张相 literally means take a photo 服务员可以帮我们照张相吗? 服务员我要打包 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 Waiter, I need to pack my food 打包 means to pack your food because there's just too much and you can't finish eating 要 here means want to 要 has another meaning that means the future tense signal word means be going to or will but here is want I want to pack my food. 我要打包 And the waiter might say something like 好的,打包盒一块钱一个 OK, one RMB for one box 盒 means a box Fantastic! Now you know the top expressions you can use in a restaurant. I hope it's helpful because food is so important in life. And if you come to China and you don't know how to order food, then you're gonna be in a really bad situation. If you liked today's video, don't forget to subscribe to Edigy's channel to like my videos and turn on that cute little alert button to receive my videos firsthand. Okay, 好了, 今天的课就到这里, 我们下次见。拜拜